A practical DIY project is always a great project to build and I've got one that is just needed for all those short people. A DIY step stool comes in really handy in the kitchen and garage or in and around your home. And the best part is, is I made it from one piece of pine timber over here that is 220 wide and 2.4 meters long. So what you can do is buy this from builders, use their cutting service, get all the wood cut because this is way easier to fit into your car than that big piece of pine over there. The pieces of wood that I got cut are four 380 mil long pieces to 185 mil long pieces and three pieces of wood that are 71 mils thick and 340 mils long. I'm gonna be making use of the Craig Jig pocket hole system, so I'll be needing 32 millimeter Craig Jig screws. The tools that I'll be needing is your Craig Jig, as well as the stepped drill bit and the driver bit. A sander, a cordless power drill, paint brushes, and a pencil. And to finish off my project, I'm gonna go in and use fired earth chalk paint in arc pure white, a dark fired earth wood stain, and a semi-glass polyurethane clear sealer. I'll be making use of a paintbrush as well as a clear container to decant the paint. The first step is to sand the wood down, so let's get rid of those rough edges and smooth it out. What I want to start with is the sides of the step stool, so let's set aside the three braces as well as the actual steps. And what we're going to do, make reference to our demo stool over there. Now what you can see is where you have to put the pocket holes. So I'm going to grab my pencil and just make a marking. Remember not to put the pocket holes too close to the side of the wood. You want to have them evenly spaced and I would say two is definitely a strong enough join. So this little guy over here, I can see one, two facing up because that's going to go into the step of the stool and then one, two, it's going to join into the side here. Then another two pocket holes over here evenly spaced to go into the second step and the same on this side but just a mirror image. Now with all my markings done I can get my Craig jig, clamp it to the table, put the pieces in and start making pocket holes. Okay so let's have a look at our pocket holes and because we marked them with a pencil there was no confusion there we go, that is the one side of the step stool and that is the other side. So what I'm going to do is just move the Craig jig out the way and make use of some spreader clamps now to pull these two pieces of wood together because they're quite wide while I drive in the wood screws. Okay, so our sides are done and as you can see the step stool is starting to take shape. The next is to do the braces so we leave the steps till last. Now these guys Two go at the back, one at the bottom there, and one at the top. So when it comes to making the pocket holes on these guys, what you're going to do is do two pocket holes on either end on the same facing surface. Okay, so now all our braces have pocket holes on either ends, and now all we have to do is place them in position and then drive through the pocket screws. And now we do the same to the other side. So the third brace is going to go in front here because you'll see what it'll do. So what I'm going to do is line this up, make sure it's all flush, clamp it down and then drive in the wood screws. This is now looking a lot more like a step stool. The only thing left to do is to attach the steps of the step stool but I'm going to leave that to last because it's actually a two-tone color. Chalk paint in the white color for the bottom and then a dark wood stain for the steps. So the paint is dry on the separate parts of our step stool. Now it's time for the final assembly. Let's just double check that our steps fit in perfectly over here. And they do. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manipulate the step stool and use some clamps and get the best leverage and angle as possible and drive in the pocket screws. Okay, there we go. The first step is secure and in place and one step at a time. Now we can apply and do the same to the second step. So your project is now fully assembled. Remember to give it a clear sealant all over the project. This will make it last that much longer. What a beautiful looking step stool and it's also practical. So now I can reach the top shelves and you can too. This project was so easy to do and the Craig Jig pocket holes made it even more simple. 
Remember to check out the bundle link to see all the tools and materials that I have used to complete this DIY. If you found this DIY inspiring and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and like it and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to the Builders Fan YouTube channel for more DIYs like this and awesome product reviews.